There you see seven week old Septimus. He turns eight weeks old tomorrow. He's chewing on a frozen fish. The fish is actually uh, for Kurgan over there, who's uh, eating some right now, but uh, they decided they wanted to grab one. Over here you see uh, Balu chewing on uh, his first uh, full chicken leg quarter. Started giving him full leg quarters now. You got uh, F3 Lycan Shepherd Toki on the uh, left and uh, F2 uh, Lycan Shepherd K Bar on the right. They're uh, eating both uh, leg quarters and some fish. And uh, my other dogs are inside. Uh, eating as well. See the puppies are getting huge, they're getting strong. Teaching them how to chew on large bones now. Now these puppies for uh, almost eight weeks old are very very large and powerful and so I'm able to give them things that uh, I wouldn't normally give a puppy this age just because of their size adjust what you see me doing here uh, based on the puppies you have. You know, a lot of smaller dogs uh, wouldn't be able to handle something like this until they're, uh, you know, three, four months old. But these guys, even with their milk teeth, are able to chew and process uh, some of these bones. We've gotten uh, tons of storms uh, over the last few days. It was even raining this morning, that's why you See all kinds of sticks and crud down in my yard from uh, my big uh, oak tree there. Everybody lives in the house. Uh, those two are just in the kennel for filming purposes. Got the puppies playing tug. sampling uh, some of dad's fish and eating up some of the particles dad dropped. You can see Kurgan's very good with the puppies, very tolerant of them. He likes his boys. Again, uh, no way to go, Balu. Balu decided to pee over by them. <laughs> As I always say in my videos, Bones are safe as long as they're raw. It's cooking the bone that makes it dangerous. It makes it uh, brittle, indigestible, and prone to both uh, obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Raw bones won't do that, but you do need to make sure your dog is chewing them up adequately as chewing is the first stage of digestion. You can see they're kind of like their dad. It looks like they prefer fish, even frozen fish, over uh, eating chicken. <laughs> Gonna finish off his fish and still look for another one. <laughs> See, uh, Septimus is hitting a piece of chicken back here. Kurgan's saying, hey boy, you guys got food all over the yard. Uh, Lou and uh, Septimus saying, come on, Dad, let me have some. That's what that paw and you see them doing is, uh, it's uh, like a playful gesture and they're asking Dad for, uh, for food.
Again, there's a couple of big pieces of raw chicken in the yard, but they'd rather uh, <laughs> they'd rather eat the frozen fish than to head out for Kurgan. That's why I put several pieces out because I had the feeling that uh, they might uh, they might want some. Again, we got the other two in here eating both uh, fish and chicken. Asking Dad for some, or uh, Balu asking Dad for some food. Now again, those facial grimaces. Again, that pawing you see is Balu asking Dad for some. Those facial grimaces that you see Kurgan doing are uh, just canine communication. It's not aggression. It's how dogs talk. guys have such great temperaments. I'm super happy with them. I always like to keep my puppy, my interactions with the puppies like this calm. You know, a lot of people make the mistake of every time they, act, they interact with their puppy of like being hyper and you know roughhousing and playing with it. The dog learns that that's the only way for it to interact what you're doing. Again, it's, it's good to have those calm, quiet times with them. And you see Balu uh, signaling to Dad he wants some food. Forget the fact that they have a bunch over there and the piece of chicken right there. Again, Kurgan's very nurturing and tolerant of puppies. Yeah, that's all canine communication. He's saying, "Get your mouth out of my out of my mouth, or it's going to get hurt as I'm chewing." <laughs> I love watching these interactions with the dogs. You can learn so much about how they communicate. Again, a lot of people misread when they see an older dog growling or snapping at a puppy as aggression. If they're not biting and hurting the puppy, it's just them communicating. And it's often when you step in and you hamper those communications that you create for uh, future issues. You know, the puppy never learns discipline and learns to be an obnoxious jerk. You know, you want the, you want the parents to step in and teach them some restraint. Just like with human children. You know, kids that grow up without a strong parental figure or uh, discipline, you know, often have a lot of problems with that later on. You know, often the military is good for helping people like that. Uh, I know from experience, uh, you know, it teaches you uh, discipline and restraint. 
which are very important, especially for a young male, both canine or, uh, or human. I say that as somebody who's raised five kids, and they all managed to survive to adulthood. <laughs> you get uh, K-Bar there finishing up his fish. Oops, I'm running out of K uh, recording space. I said you got Toki finishing up his food. K-Bar there. I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. We've got a lot of cool merch with our channel logo on it. It's a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return. Bye for Mr. Kurgan. The two pups. And uh, the two yahoos in the kennel. Again, everybody lives in the house. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. Yeah!